Time for another installment of stupid Volkswagen shit. This time we're doing uh, Cardin shaft for the synchro uh, bushings. These are also used in Audi TT drive shafts. They're used in BMW two-piece drive shafts. Uh, there's actually quite a few cars that use these things, so I'm going to show you how to remove and replace them. I had a driveline shop earlier today tell me all kinds of things, and I said, you know what, I'm going to do it myself. So, here we go. I already did one, so I know how to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and get on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of it, and uh, I'll tell you why after I do. And I'm going to get the bandsaw on it, so here we go. And uh, make sure you do this in flip-flops, because, you know, that's safe. Yay! Okay, the reason I did that is because I couldn't find any 6-inch uh, jigsaw blades for cutting metal. I guess they don't make them. So I'm using a 4-inch jigsaw blade, and I had to cut this off so the 4 inches would grab the entire length of the bushing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically pie cut it on all edges as, as many times as I feel comfortable, and then simply pop it out with a with a hammer so let's see what happens okay so I've cut about half of the bushing off maybe a third of it um, now I gotta have a way to put the jigsaw blade all the way through it so don't you just love Harbor Freight so I've got this uh, step drill and I'm just gonna shove it in there and just drill as big a hole as I can and that'll give me room to put the jigsaw blade in. So let's see what happens if I just do it laying down like this. Uh, once again, flip flops for safety and uh, safety glasses for safety. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there's like plastic bits coming out of it. So there's a tiny little pilot hole, it's like, almost like a drain hole that the factory uses on these bushings. So I'm just going to use that as a guide hole and just start drilling. Oh, and these things are made out of uh, some kind of soft material, so it comes out pretty easy. These step drills from Harbor Freight are actually some of the best drill bits I've ever used. They are amazing for doing all kinds of stupid stuff like this. Uh, not too sure how many people are going to be watching this video because these bushings don't ever get repaired or replaced unless you're doing something like me where you're doing a synchro swap on something that didn't have it. But if for some reason you're doing one, there you go. So now I'm going to hook up the jigsaw and start pie cutting. So I'm doing this at night. I am kind of in a hurry to get this thing put back together. Since I've got obligations on the other side of the country real soon, I want to get this car going before I leave. So what you're looking at right now, i got it kind of... Man, I'm just doing this on the fly. I've got it clamped to a, an engine crane that's in my driveway. So, I don't know if you could see down in there. Drilled the hole in the bushing, and now the bushing itself is only 30 millimeters long, top to bottom. So... I can get that blade in there no problem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, 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 cut as much as I want. Uh, eventually it'll just come loose and pop out. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold the camera and the flashlight with one hand and try to do this without hurting myself, which who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, like that. Just bend the shit out of your blade. Okay. I spared you the uh, ridiculous jigsaw nightmare, but uh, I got five pie cuts, and it looks like the blade went all the way down in there, so now I'm going to lay it on its side and put a chisel on it and see what happens. Yeah, I'm lazy. I didn't go looking for my good hammer, so I've got this cheap-ass nail hammer. It's probably good. That way I don't overdo it. 
I'm just gonna start popping these things out. We're trying to pop them out, but first you gotta bend them down. They should move pretty easy. Just like that. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and stick the jigsaw back in there and make more pie cuts. And this should work. <laughs> Okay, more pie cuts later. This thing's not moving. It's gonna fight me. But you have to have patience with these things. It will come out. Sure don't make vice grips like they used to. There it is. Yay. The money shot, right? So I finally grabbed one of the ears and I'm kind of peeling it out of there. I think since these things are made out of a kind of a brass, probably brass or soft steel, they they really get stuck in there. So they're such a pain to get out. You can't eat, you can't use normal tools like bearing race extractors. You can't use those. I tried. <laughs> so there it is. Got that one out, and that's the last one I'm doing. So hopefully I'll never do this again in my entire life. But if this helped you out, then, uh, yeah, let me know. Here's what the new bushings look like. It's the same part number for Synchro, R32, TT, probably BMW, who knows. But these are actually uh, Audi Volkswagen specific. They've got this little rubber thing on the inside. It actually has Volkswagen, Audi, Germany... And then the part number, but this is what they're supposed to look like. And I got these from Jim Ellis for $53 plus shipping.